because we are one important partner, but a, a small part of the bigger picture of the largest beauty brand in the world. So we listen to our consumers. We listen to search signal. Everybody looks every single day for all sorts of interesting things, um, and we take a look at that. People share things every single day. Uh, we're doing in a little bit a live um, video premiere on Facebook with a live Q&A, first time it's ever been done on Facebook, um, with a bikini episode of Tyra F -f Fashion, um, and we think it'll be really exciting. But our whole goal was to listen to what consumers wanted and share that information back. They want it to be personal, they want it to be informative, and they want it to be fun. And then also building apps. So we take those three things because we think those are the new distribution mechanisms that you have to use today. It means your content needs to be created differently. It needs, you have to take a different point of view with the consumer and focus on what they need versus what you want to say. So this is a favorite one of mine, um, you know, trend shaping. We all have different body types and sizes. I'm 5'10", and I weigh 110 pounds. So what ha I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> really? <laughs> Someone tweet that, please. Say, Joanne Bradford says that she's 5'10", and weighs 110 pounds. I really don't. Um, so, you know, what people have different body types. I, you know, am a little bit shorter than that, and I have a, a you know, a curvy apple-shaped body. So this will tell me what to wear and what looks good on me. A classic blazer, a good fit, a nice trouser. So, you know, really, I shouldn't show up in a bikini, and I shouldn't show up in an unstructured dress. Type F um, and trend shaping tells me that. We also personalize it. So when you log into the Type F experience, it actually shows you content that is written specifically for you. So how to choose a black dress for an apple shape. I'm apple shaped. I'm in the big apple. It all works. Um, that is actually, those are my kids, my two daughters. And you can actually see all of our shapes. My daughter took that picture in Hawaii. That's my Facebook profile picture. This is actually what I see when I come onto that site because I've personalized it for me which is a very big breakthrough in the media business and in the beauty business, to be able to have this level of personalization and this kind of content access for every consumer. So, you know, the other thing that we did was we showed L'Oreal the things that people are looking for. So 87% of people search topics about hair, how to remove it, straighten it, color it, change it, get more of it, every different thing. The next thing is eyes. Um, how to make a smoky eye, how to make a, there's, you know, all sorts of different things. You know what eyelid shape you have. All you men out there, I'm sure, are like, this is fascinating. Um, face, you all have different types of skin. The last thing is people think about um, lips and then skin type and color and foundation. So here's how it looks when we look at the titles and the kind of content we do. Apply liquid eyeliner to monolid eye. Most of you don't know what that is, but if you have it, it's difficult to put eyeshadow on. Get purple toner out of blonde hair. There is nothing worse than when your hair color goes bad, and it's, this is a crisis for people. So having the right product and the right message there is really important. I don't think that any other beauty magazine or beauty website cover this, covers this the way that we do. Put thick hair in a messy bun. It's a hot style. It's a hot fashion. Um, I have a 16-year-old. I did, couldn't teach her how to br French braid her hair. One of the number one videos that people look at on us on YouTube and on eHow is how to French braid your hair. Something as simple as that has had over 2.5 million people look at it because people need to know how to do that. How to apply blush to a diamond-shaped face. Um, my face is not diamond shaped. I think it's apple to match my body. Um, and bridal makeup for dark skin. Um, you know, people need to know how to do things for every type and every occasion. So we just wanted to show you a couple of samples. The thing about our partnership with L'Oreal is that it broke down to three very specific elements. There's paid media, which is pretty standard for the industry. But it's not standard for us because it's in context and it's in intention. Um, and what happens is it works better. I'm not going to give away any numbers, but I'm just going to say that we are happy that when people come to look at the site and get that content, that the ad is in great context. It doesn't require a lot of targeting. It doesn't require a lot of wizardry and magic. It just tell, we just tell them, here's what they're looking for, and we match the right brand to the message. Then it's owned media, which is really creating videos. We're creating a large video library for, uh, for L'Oreal. 
And then it's earned. How do we think about social and some of the things that I talked about? So you know, most people approach a marketer and they're like, look, I'll sell you some ads, I'll sell you some content, or I'll sell you a social strategy. Our goal was really to solve the problems all together at, with some sort of repetition and being able to do, do it using our studio system, our 15,000 freelance writers, our 4,000 video creators, and be able to put together a quality product. 